What's up my homies? It's Delicia. Welcome or welcome back. We're at Home Goods just browsing around to see what they have laid out here in this store today. I'm in the front of the store looking at some of the neutral and gold decor here on the shelves. That gold leaf up there, I saw that last week in that elephant too. So if I got my eyes on it today, I need to check it out. This one's 25. I like that, but I don't know if I need it. I was looking at this too, this wooden sculpture with the two people on it. It could very well be used for Valentine's Day, but any day for that matter. This is also $25. It's very lightweight. Here's some more of those sculptures over there. That gold bowl is pretty. Let's take a look at that. Be great for some filler. Looks like it's $40. Very heavy. For my glam girls, these champagne flutes are $8 a piece. Very pretty. Let's see if we can find anything new with the dishes. That mug is pretty. It's $4. This one's also four. The honeycomb print is pretty. Free 99, I don't see a price on that. <laughs> Let's see what else we can find. Do, do, do. Those serve plates here, these server plates. These are nice. Let me squat down here <laughs> and see how much they are. This one is 10. And this one is 13. You can always display fruit or something on these if you're not using them as serveware. Fiddle and Fern always has the nicest little mini taster bowls and ramekins, love these. Wanted to show you some of the spring flowers that they brought out. Those in the mason jars. The tulips are always my favorite, especially the ones with the fake water in them. Like this huge one up here, so pretty. Now, I don't know if this was the elephant I saw last week. I don't know what it is about the elephants. I always look at them, but I never buy one. Now this one's 20. I think the one I saw last week was a little less than that, but I like that. Okay, we're going to have to pick this leopard up because I keep seeing him everywhere throughout this store. 25. I've been seeing quite a few coffee table books, so if you guys are on the hunt for those, look at your local home goods. This little loaf pan with the spatula is cute. Ray Dunn, how much are you? Oh, here it is. Uh, ten dollars it's cute but it's gonna stay right there now what you call this a mixing bowl a measuring cup or both it's eight dollars you can do some really fun things for gifting for Valentine's with that if you're looking for an electric wine bottle opener I found one on clearance for you 18 Now these candle holders really caught my eye. Y'all know how I love brass. This is $20. Love that set. Let me back up and see what else I can see. Always love this section. Those lanterns, they always have those, but I love you can get you a good lantern from Home Goods. In the neutral, these those wooden pillar candle holders are cute. Like those. So pretty much over here, the same thing you would see. I'm gonna turn around and see what's on the other side of me. Luminera, $40. They come in different colors. If you're looking for those. And up on the top shelf, I did not know that Sand and Fog made pillar candles. I wonder if they're scented. It says it's 15. I can't tell if it's scented but it's definitely for Valentine's Day. More coffee table books. 
This one was here last week. They had a ton of these last week. Abode and Live Beautiful. And this one is... Y'all, I'm sorry if this video is a little shaky today. This guy has been following me around ever since I got in here. This is $25. And he's making me a little uncomfortable. But yeah, uh, these coffee table books are a few dollars less than Amazon. So check your local stores. My eyes are always looking for the handcrafted jugs and vases. Don't see a lot in this location today. The one here with the handle is more on the artisan style. I like it, but not necessarily the color that I would be looking for, but it is pretty. Okay, let's look at Valentine's. You know, Ray Dunn is always going to understand the assignment. Let's see what I can find. I really like this set of mixing bowls right here, and it is $10. These tumblers right here are 10, very pretty. Raydon has her Valentine tumblers available. These wooden heart sculptures are very pretty as well. Let me get down here and see how much this one is. 25, I think that's the magic number today in this store, $25. That's really pretty though. And then, these heart-shaped wooden trays. This one is smaller, it's $8. And let's see how much the larger one is. This one is 13. Here's a stack of plates that say, I love you in different languages, 13. All the Ray Dunn tumblers over there, 13. This Ray Dunn ice cream gift set is really cute. Let's see if I find a price on it. I do not see one, so let's just say it is free 99, okay? These marble heart-shaped risers are really pretty for like candles or even by your sink with the dish soap and lotion would be cute. More Ray Dunn, love you, love you more mugs. That would be cute for best friends or your significant other, spouses. Now these mugs right here, I really love the hearts on those. And they're kind of opposite of each other. They're $5, red and white like those a lot. Don't need them, but I like them. This canister is really pretty. You can put gifts in it. It's $8. Hot cocoa, your coffee pots, or anything like that. That's really pretty. Or candy, like that. So now we're over by the Valentine's pillows. Looks like all of them are around $13. I see gnomes, heart-shaped air balloons, some say I love you. This one right here says Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> That's cute. They have the buffalo check ones down at the bottom. On the other side here, I'm finding X's and O's. A whole lot of gnomes. So if you are into gnomes, Home Goods has got you covered. Here's another Ray Dunn gift set with the little dish and the mug. I, I really like the heart shaped handle. I really like that a lot. That's so cute. I'm looking for the price, y'all. 17. The Love Pasta you can also make as a gift set with some wooden spoons or a towel or something like that in the basket. The large one is 13 and the smaller bags are running about $5. So, so cute. Valentine suckers. These chocolate covered pretzels are $6. Let's see what else we can find. Just a lot of different assorted candies. The jelly sugar kind, I guess you call them jelly or gummies. 
and let me squat down here there's here are some pre-wrapped chocolates if you just don't know what to give to someone this is seven dollars there's also medium roast disney coffee but it has coconut flavor in it if you like to adorn your front door or your mantle, they have plenty of wreaths and garlands for Valentine's Day. This beaded one is 13. I've been on the hunt for a huge dough bowl and I haven't found the style I want yet. This one is $40 and very heavy. So this is real wood. I like it though. It's browsing at the cookware. That's really pretty. This is D and W, Dean and White. And they're coming different colors. This is more of a charcoal gray right here. And this is $25 for this. I really like the off-white one as well. The little sauce pot is 15. This Cuisinart right here is 40. We found a Ray Dunn pie dish. This is 15. It's a heart shape that says Sweetie Pie. That's very cute. Found some assorted cupcake cups. There's a lot of them. Here's the jumbo ones. There's 40 in here for $6. That's not bad. And it looks like the smaller cups are running about $6. These Disney ramekins are sitting all by themselves over here. These are five. There's an assortment of treat tins if you like to bake cookies or cupcakes. These tins are really cute and they are $5. More Ray Dunn, little mixing bowl with the whisk, and a heart shaped Dutch oven for 40. If you enjoyed browsing home goods with me, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment below which items caught your eye. And if you want to see more decor and decorating, make sure to subscribe. You can do that either by clicking on my face here on the screen or on the subscribe button below. And make sure to click that notification bell to all. That way you will be notified whenever I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.